Hello, hello everyone, and welcome again to another LEGO Barnacle video. For today, guys, we're going to be doing a Let's Build and Review on the Toa Hordika Vakama. This is set number 8736, was released in 2005, and contains 48 pieces. So here are all the pieces out, as you can see, guys. Here is the Kanohi. Now, I don't know if this is meant to be considered the Kanohi Huna in the Hordika form. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, if you guys didn't know, the Kanohi Huna is pretty much the Mask of Concealment. Allowed him to pretty much go invisible. Now, I don't know exactly if this is meant to be considered it. Let me know in the comments below, guys, but this is a great-looking, uh, snake-looking mask there. But if you also didn't know, guys, the, uh, Vizirac also injected. So, pretty much, they have what is known as the Hordika Venom. And that's how pretty much they guys, or these guys pretty much got transformed into what is known as the Hordika, or the Toa Hordika, from their, uh, Toa Mitch, or the Toa form, their original form. And, uh, yeah, um... That's all I can really mention about them. So, uh, yeah, that's how they pretty much got transformed. And um, at the end of the day, uh, they did look pretty ugly, to be honest. And they didn't really like the way they looked as well. So, yeah, um, I can really agree with them that, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, they just, they just didn't like it. But anyway, moving on forward, here we also have... If you guys didn't know what are known as the blazer claws that Tohordika Vakama wields. Now these are some really great weapons here. Now if you guys didn't know this is pretty much a melee combat weapon and um, they literally just blazed with fire. Uh, very powerful as well. Very nice weapons and uh, yeah obviously the piece looks pretty standard but in, in the movie itself they are pretty cool. But uh, other than that, there isn't really much more. Of course, you have the launcher here, and here you have the charging Vertuka spinner. And of course, here is just the Hordika body piece there. Very common pieces, of course. They're all very uh, repetitive with the sets, but uh, overall, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, so let's get straight into the Let's Build, and uh, hopefully this shouldn't be too challenging. Um, you know, it's only 48 pieces, but I always say the same thing over and over again. What can possibly go wrong? And I'm sure there will be something that will go wrong. And you guys may think I'm an idiot. And I agree. I, I can be an idiot at times. But nonetheless, uh, hopefully this build should be uh, should be okay. We should be able to get through this. So now we're just kind of building the uh, body piece at the moment. And um, we just need to get a few more attachments. Attach on uh, this piece here. So we need this yellowy thing again. And I don't like this piece at all, but uh, it is vital for the um, for the spinner. And I'm hoping that we won't get many problems with the set in regards to the spinner because, as mentioned, sometimes it falls off really easily. I wish they had built a better mechanism for it, to be honest. Because yeah, I'm just not really a big fan of it. In all honesty. But now we just need to get a few size 3 gray axle pieces and we've got to stick it in through here. So push that in through here. I think one comes through here as well. There we go. And then from there we want to get a size 2 black pin. Stick that right here. I believe this must be for the head. Now what we want to do is we want to attach on these connector pieces on each side. There we go. Attach one there and one there. And now what we want to do is to attach on the Hordika body piece and that's pretty simple. That kind of just sits on like this. And it should attach on to this piece right there so it should all connect in one go. And that hasn't gone really well so let's try that again. Stick it in. There we go. Perfect. And I think that's pretty much the body done. Okay, so now we're leaving the body to the side. We're going to actually be building the legs now. The legs are pretty straightforward um, based on the instructions. So I'm just going to start building the leg now. Just adding a few uh, connector pieces here and there. Attach that on and then we go to add in the leg, which is meant to be this piece here. And I believe that's meant to be like that, so let's just connect that in. Or is it meant to be like this? No, it's meant to be like that. Just double checking, guys. Just double checking. We don't want to get the leg piece wrong, right? So there you go. There's the leg attached on. Then we want to get this double-sided connector piece and connect it on like that. And let's just enhance the image there because that seems a bit blurry. And zoom out. Then we want to attach on this black pin here, and I believe that's where you add in the silver armor shell, or gray armor shell I guess. 
and which way is the right way up just trying to see doesn't really matter I think there we go attach that on there and that's pretty much it that's one leg done and all I got to do is to build the other leg and we just have to build the arms BAM there you go was that the awesomest magic trick you've ever seen <laughs> Anyway, let's keep moving forward. So there you go guys, there's the other leg built. And uh, that was literally one of the most simplest builds I have ever seen. Uh, I guess you can't really get more simpler than the Tawamata and the Nuva, but this was pretty simple. What we're going to build now is just the arms and uh, just put on the head and we are done. Okay, first things first is I want to get this piece right here and I want to attach on a blue pin with a pin axle there. Pretty simple stuff. Next thing I want to do is I want to get this piece right here and I think this is meant to attach on something like this. So let's attach that on here. Come on, why is it not going in? There we go. So that's in now. Then I want to get this awesome and weird looking smooth gear there. And all I want to do is I want to attach this other here gear and obviously this is like the typical gear there. And that should get slotted in just like that. Hold that in place and then attach on the... Uh, axle piece and that should attach it on like that and here we have a gear function that's pretty simple there and uh, all we got to do now is just add a little connector piece at the bottom here there we go and where does this attach on so that is the arm yep pretty straightforward there that is one arm and let's attach that on now there we go okay oh there we go. So there's one arm attached now. And I'm going to do the magic trick again, guys. Ready? And Alakazam, there you go. But there's something quite wrong with the set. And I honestly could not believe it, guys. But if you can see with the arm, they've given me the wrong <laughs> length of literally the limb. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that there, but look how short this thing is. That is the wrong piece. I need this piece right here. I don't know if you guys can see that properly. So I'm quite disappointed right now. Um, I know this is only like four New Zealand dollars, but damn, that is not good. That is really not good. So I'm gonna have to try and find the same color piece and I'm hoping I have this color piece. If I don't, I'm literally gonna shoot myself. No, I'm just joking. Uh, hopefully I can find the piece, um, but for now, Oh man, that is actually really disappointing. And boom, there you have it guys. So I know it looks pretty bland, it's pretty boring, and it's not the exact same piece. Now at the end of the day, it wouldn't make a difference because this is what it's meant to be. This is meant to be the original piece. Now unfortunately, I don't have it in the kind of the dark reddish maroonish color there. So un unfortunately, I have to just stick with this for now. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty much the same length. And that is literally just the arm build for the left hand side. I kid you not. That is by far the most useless build I have ever seen for any set in regards to Bahanakul. And uh, I'm actually quite disappointed. That is literally all that is to the left arm. And then from there we just need to add on the blazer claws and just the head. And we're pretty much done. Add on the Rituka launcher. And there you go. That is it. So yeah, it is quite disappointing guys. Just check that out same length and that is the size so literally one arm is longer than the other so moving on to the head now we're just going to attach on a size 3 gray pin piece then attach on these trans yellow borok eye pieces one on each side so this is meant to be the brain stock slash eyes or kind of like what gives off the color of the eyes and uh, here is the mask or i guess the hordika mask i don't know i don't know if it still has its official kanohi name with it but anyway um, let's attach on this why is this not going through so this kind of has to go through there we go and there you can see the pin axle hole attach on a size 3 pin axle there and that should hold it in place and there you go that's pretty much it with the uh, the head then because I completely forgot to add this in from the beginning we then just need to add in a uh, connector piece and of course this is just for the head and let's attach it on now. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. So let's attach this back on. There we go. And now attach on the head again. Hopefully this will be easier. There we go. 
Now the head is attached on. So now to attach on the blazing claws, and that's pretty straightforward. You just attach it on like so. There's one there. You're gonna attach on the other one on the other side. There you go, just like that. And now we have some weapons on Vakama, the Toa Hordika. So there you go guys, that is pretty much it. So there you can see is now the Rituka launcher on and uh, there is the Rituka spinner, pretty simply enough. You can see how it's attached onto that yellow pin there. Now, it took me a while to actually get this in. This thing's actually jammed the launcher, so yeah, I've had to kind of do it off the camera, but in the end, you kind of get the idea of how it works. So that's pretty good. Then, um, pretty much, that is the Let's Build done. And uh, here are practically the leftover pieces, so we get given another Rituka spinner there, which is nice. I don't know if that's meant to be the case. I thought you only get given one, but if that's another extra one just in case I lose it, then that's great. I get given a size 2 pin axle. We also have a uh, blue pin axle with a circular pin there, and just a standard pin as well, circular as well, in the black. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is the Let's Build done on the awesome Vakama there. Unfortunately, not 100% completed because we don't have the right piece there, but nonetheless, he still looks awesome. So looking at the leg build first, so as you can see here guys, it's a pretty simple build. You have the standard feet there, you have the connected piece that attaches on with the uh, leg piece there at the bottom, and then of course you have the upper leg here, standard armor shell there, and of course you do get a lot of range of articulation with the whole leg, and of course with the knee um, up and down there, more than 90 degrees, and of course you have standard articulation in the feet there, which is great. Something I'm a bit concerned about is the fact that the knees are a bit higher up than usual and um, pretty much I guess this piece here which you call, what you would call is the femur um, is actually quite short so in technical terms it's like that big and the rest of his legs that big so it's not really proportional it's not that uh, fancy it's not that great but nonetheless uh, I guess it's a simple build you know it's 48 pieces what can you do there so now looking at the body and kind of like the torso area you can see guys it's a standard Hordika body piece there and uh, one thing I really don't like about the set is the holes and the gaps there going on so you have a standard body piece in the front and of course you have the back piece and right here is just this literally big gap here with nothing no filling at all and I think they should have done something about that to be honest it just looks very uh, you know it hasn't really been done really well and it's uh, very unfortunate they didn't really fix it but he can't do much there so that's pretty much the body piece and of course moving on to the arms there you can see as um, a gear function yes guys can you believe that now the one thing I don't like about this arm build is the fact that this arm is super long guys it is crazy long and uh, I mean really long because it actually reaches down to his leg, believe that or not. So that is a problem and something I really don't like. But nonetheless, here is the gear function as you can see. So what really happens is, if I just enhance the image there for you guys, the arm actually moves up and down. So it's in the elbow joint there. Of course you have this uh, curved looking gear here which allows you to move the gear left and right, which is very, very nice. So it's a nice freely moving uh, gear function there which is great and then of course you have standard articulation in the shoulders there just like so and as mentioned you have the elbow movement with the gear and then of course you have articulation in the arms there with the uh, hands going on as well so that's pretty good too or well, technically it's meant to be a wrist uh, same thing applies really to the other hand or the other arm I should say except uh, you know I as mentioned I've kind of modified it a bit because I don't have the right color but in regards to this it's just mainly up and down and to be honest with this on here it wouldn't really make a difference still would be similar uh, you can move it forwards ish but uh, it's mainly just up and down because of the uh, the piece here which can hinder movement so it wouldn't really make a difference and then of course articulation here in the hands as well so that's pretty standard stuff so now looking at the head, so it's a pretty standard head piece there, as mentioned you saw the let's build, you can see how the brain slash eye stock are practically the Borok eye pieces, uh, which is a bit uh, a bit odd to be honest, but uh, nonetheless still great, I love the uh, trans yellow, I think trans orange would look a lot better with the set. But uh, overall, not too bad. Now, I don't know exactly if this is meant to be the Kanohi Huna, the Mask of Concealment, but uh, I don't ever recall him ever concealing himself, did he? I think he did. I think it is still considered the Kanohi Huna. But uh, yeah, we'll just stick with that. So it is the Kanohi Huna, 
And uh, there you can see it, guys. Uh, there's the kind of the Hordika look. You know how they open their mouths through here. It does look a bit uh, hideous, you know. Kind of like a snake in a way. But uh, overall, great articulation. Left and right, up and down. So reasonable articulation there, which is uh, very, very nice. And last thing, pretty much to look at the Rituka Spinner. And here it is, guys. Here is the Rituka Spinner. It's a pretty straightforward uh, weapon, I guess, in a way. Um, nothing really much I can really talk about it in a way because I know because at the end of the day they kind of have to bend forward and they kind of launch it outwards oh, see it's 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 really jammed but you get the idea guys this thing's jammed yeah but it, it does work in the case that it would obviously fly off and kind of you know attack its uh, its enemy something like that but you get the idea the one thing I don't like about it is how it kind of sticks out through kind of his um Oh, it's really weird through his thoracic region if you guys understand that pretty much speaking kind of through his neck slash back region And it just looks really ugly there. You can see on the side there very very ugly But what can you do there now? Finally 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 we're getting to the best part and of course it is the Blazer claws or the claw blazers. I think they're called the blazer claws and uh, pretty much the best feature about him I guess and of course uh, if you guys have forgotten the the gear function which is also a great feature but the blazer claws are pretty much tools that he used as a hordika um, don't really know much about how he did use them you kind of you know like you know how claws work fire claws or so, fire and claws you get the idea so that's pretty much it it looks like a standard flame uh, there you can see are his claws in a way but uh, yeah that's all I can really mention about this set now it's really depressing how there isn't uh, you know anything exciting except these little bits and pieces I mentioned but uh, what can you do there and there you have it guys that is pretty much my let's build and review done on the Toa Hordika Vakama I hope you guys have enjoyed this if you have please smash that thumbs up button of course and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet so then you guys are all up to date with any new videos I do post out stay tuned guys many more let's builds and reviews to come and of course I still have to build my own version of the alternative Shadow Time Makuta and I'm still trying to plan ahead but hopefully that will be built soon so then I can show it to you all. Anyway guys have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching. All the best for the rest of the competition. I'll be talking to you all very very soon. Bye bye.